Is it time to buy or sell Meta stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Meta. Our initial report was published on our website on Monday, July 10, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since January 3, 2023, our system has ranked Meta as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 4.38. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. Those who followed our analysis would have enjoyed an impressive gain of 135.77% since we first listed Meta as a buy candidate 129 days ago. This translates to an average return of 1.05% per day since it was listed as buy candidate. The stock lies in the middle of a strong rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 41.19% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 34.61% and 43.37%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 82.51% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 10.98% and 83.68%. This translates to a price range of $326.38 to $540.19 after a year. Our latest daily update for Meta includes the headline, Meta stock price ended on $294.10 on Monday after gaining 1.23%. The Meta stock price gained 1.23% on the last trading day, Monday, July 10, 2023, rising from $290.53 to $294.10. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 3.86% from a day low at $287.05 to a day high of $298.13. The price has fallen in 6 of the last 10 days but is still up by 1.86% over the past 2 weeks. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign, and, in total, 10 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 35 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $10.34 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $298.13, and the lowest price was $88.09. Currently, the price is 1.35%, or $4.03, below the 52-week high, and 23.48%, or $90.23, below the all-time high on September 1, 2021, when the price reached $384.33. Analysts have given Meta stock a general buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Meta. The Meta stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $289.36 and $272.97. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Wednesday, July 5, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 0.0917%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal four days ago. Bollinger, buy signal four days ago. 
Short-term moving average, sell signal 8 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal not applicable days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages holds a sell signal. If we look at the 12-month chart we see short moving average by signal 51 days ago. The long-term moving average by signal 125 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages by signal 117 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Meta Meta finds support from accumulated volume at $291.99 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $11.08 between high and low, or 3.86%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 2.9%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Meta, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the Price to Earnings Ratio, or P.E. Ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. A relatively low P.E. ratio could signal a low expectation for the future of the company or that the stock is undervalued, indicating a potential buying opportunity. In other news, the next earnings report for Q3 2023 is expected on October 24, 2023. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Meta. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Meta is at $294.37. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Meta encounters its first support level at $291.99. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Meta from multiple analyst sources is buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On July 3, 2023, Neusta Jennifer conducted an insider sell of 722 shares of Class A common stock. On June 27, 2023, Neusta Jennifer conducted an insider sell of 722 shares of Class A common stock. On June 20, 2023, Neusta Jennifer conducted an insider sell of 722 shares of Class A common stock. On June 15, 2023, Kimmet Robert M. conducted an insider buy of 1,541 shares of Restricted Stock Units, RSU, Class A. On June 15, 2023, Sandberg Sherrill conducted an insider buy of 1,541 shares of Restricted Stock Units, RSU, Class A. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 3.643. Overall, insiders purchased 149,445 shares and sold 161,475 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $282.89, minus 3.81%. This stock has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found 3 days ago. Is Meta stock a good buy? Several short-term signals, along with a general good trend, are positive and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for Meta stock to perform well in the short term. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Tuesday, July 11th, we expect Meta to open down minus $1.01 and start trading at $293.09. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. 
This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.